Are we ready? Yeah, bro. We're just we're just waiting for you. Jesus, I'm ready, bro. Everybody's just waits <clears> around. <throat> Jeez, I'm such a, I'm some big piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. So. Well, hello. Hey. Hey, back again for hey. the first time. Hey. First time's the charm, you first know what they say. The charm. It's not like uh, we already tried to record this today already. Let me recap this. Okay. Hey, did you guys see that Wolf of Wall Street flick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Actually, I did. You know what? At least Audacity didn't decide to bone us like 40 minutes into the podcast. Yeah. It Don't was three you? and a half minutes in, and it was like, you know what? I'm going to stop working. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not going to happen You've yet. You've been boned. You've, You've been, been boned by Audacity. So... Audacity. I don't really know. Is that what it is called? It's audacity. Oh, whatever. Like audio. Audio. Audacity. Yep, you got it. Okay. So. Wolf should, of Wall Street. Is it even worth having the same conversation that we just Wolf had? Wolf of Wall Street. No, because that no. becomes a boring conversation, no. I feel like. Sorry, Zach. Waffles on Wall Street. I know Street. that you brought the first conversation to the whole podcast. It was good. But that's a conversation that no one will ever hear. Because yeah. your computer's a jackass. And you know what? And I've had this happen to me before when i was recording commentaries and stuff you know what that how that makes you feel when you just basically like if you think about I it i told the greatest story the three of us just sat here and we talked, talked for about 15 to now, nobody to, to nobody. nobody jesus we talked to each other we talked to nobody really uh, it's not like it was yeah, just but i don't really like you commentary. guys oh uh, you know, i guess oh uh, okay so if i'm talking to you it's not like i'm gonna be dad dad's upset right now yeah Dad's upset. Dad needs to go. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. Don't do that. Don't, don't cry. Daddy, don't cry. Dude, your beard is just getting completely out of control. I know I'm starting to feel like Noah of Noah's Ark. Of Noah's Ark? Yeah. yeah. Did, has God told you to build a, a boat? No, he didn't tell me to build a boat. He told, he told you to, to build, build a rocket ship. He said build a rocket ship and take all the animals to so, the moon. <laughs> so God, God's I'm Australian? I'm going to blow up this planet. God's Australian? God's Australian, right. mate. <laughs> G'day. Build a rocket ship and dig all your animals to the moon. Dig them to the moon. <laughs> Jeez. Catapult your animals fleet by fleet. You sound like an Englishman. Well, you know, he's English. He's, he's got a little British. English in him. Well, I think he has a little everybody in him, you know? You know what? God's got a little bit of everybody in him. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing, that's a perk of being God. A little bit you of everything. Give away everything. That's really an interesting thing to say because you see some fucking weird people. Like, and, but whoa, that, that's, that's God. A, the thing that's that not. that's his spitting image of that's what there's people people say. Yeah. Or spitting images of the Creator. That, well, yeah. that's impossible because there's many different kinds of us. I know, but that means God is just a big melting pot. Damn, yeah, he looks Wait. like he looks like the Texas Chainsaw Master. You know what? I think there's a couple. <laughs> I think there's a couple things that as as a generic podcast foundation, you don't we should talk about religion, <laughs> religion, religion, politics, race, race. Yeah, our religion. first our first podcast just completely annihilated that point. So uh, we love everyone though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah, let's go ahead and patch things up with we the love, old, We love everyone. We love yeah. everyone. Slander. Jeez, we gotta patch things up with somebody. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's patch them up. Let's, let's so, uh, patchy rub You guys down. hear about... Oh, did you have something? Did you have a good thing to say? No, I was just gonna make the generic... So, what's been going on with everybody's statement? But you got, you got something. Well, it's way ahead. past Christmas and New Year's now. <laughs> Yeah, last. We, we've had a we've had a, a pretty significant gap between the ice age. Someone fell off who was talking about not falling off for the first one. Oh <laughs> man, Jeez. who could that be? Who was it? Who was I it? I don't know what you're talking about. Me? Yeah, you're like, we're gonna do this podcast. No one can fall off, and then who fell off? Uh, the what do you mean leader. I fell off? The linger. You fell off. You fell how off. How did I fall off? You, you fell. Been, you've been delaying the recording God, you process. Have. You, you, I think I think everybody can forever. clearly tell who the other two people that really fell off were. Fell off. The guys I don't fall get down. back on. Okay. I so hopped I'm, right back on that pony. Mm-hmm. I hopped on the pony. <laughs> I hopped on the pony. That's Bro, barnyard you fall porn. Off. You you've changed. Right? I've changed. Yeah. My my face has changed. Congratulations. Where are we going somewhere with with? I was gonna say, did you guys hear about uh, Kim Jong Un? He fed his uncle to 120 hungry dogs. 
Did you hear about Dennis Rodman going over there and saying, yeah. good job? What? Yeah, yeah he's Wait, crazy. All what? this crazy shit's happening in North Korea. See, look, you've, you've been at your parents' house with no internet, no TV. <laughs> I'm shut out of, from the world. Cabin you didn't know about in this? The woods. Okay, you know what? In, in all fairness, this didn't happen in the United States. so It was all if, over CNN and public so radio. Dennis oh, because that's what I frequent, is and, CNN and public radio. And Dennis they, Rodman is friends with Kim Jong-un. And they like played a celebrity friend. basketball game. That doesn't game, surprise man. me. They went over there and played the celebrity basketball game the day after he killed his uncle. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, for the day his after. birthday. Yeah, for his, for Kim Jong-un's birthday. He killed his uncle feeding him to 120 dogs, and his uncle was a politician. Okay. He so, said he was on the wrong side or something like that. So that's why he did it. He did it as a statement. He didn't just do it to, he didn't just wake up and be like, you know what? I have 120 dogs that could eat. They're not what? super Why are you defending that man? Yeah, what are you talking well, about? I'm you trying, sound like the biggest. I'm, what? I'm trying you to sound figure like out. such a bigot. All right, you guys, <laughs> you guys are out of control right We're now. We're not. I'm trying to figure out no, sir. why he would do it. Oh, no, because he says he's fucking he, crazy. I think he says he like, uh, like treason or something. Because he's crazy as balls. That's like you, he wasn't on the right, right side. What happened to Kim Jong Il? Did he die? He, he got yeah, ill and he died. <laughs> really? He did get ill. Yeah, yeah and he died. All right, Straight are you, Ill. you just saying that to be funny? Or did he really get sick? He and said died? ill, so I was like, oh, that's a perfect lead into yeah. He got ill and died. Did he really get sick? Yeah. How do you bar usually? He I don't know. You could heart. get shot in the head. That's not getting sick. Well, he wasn't gonna kill his dad. His dad was the infer. Here, let me. Can I show you? Uh, can I show you Dennis Rodman on NBC or CNBC like going crazy right now? Oh yeah, he goes, he goes, he goes ballistic. Well, can, we get, can we get good audio? Yeah, this is going to be good audio. Dennis Rodman had a big day today. Dennis Rodman took six former NBA players and four other players on a trip. Oh, to that's North Jimmy Korea Kimmel to play an exhibition <laughs> this isn't game Dennis Rodman. Rodman. But oh, Kimmel. that was we should just let Jimmy Kimmel this morning. <laughs> and Dennis is sponsored by Jimmy Kimmel for satellite interview. They are in North Korea. Chris Cuomo of CNN is in, uh, I don't know, D.C. or New York or something, but it, it did not go smoothly. You got, you, got, you, got, you got 10 guys here, 10 guys here that have left their families, left their damn families to help this country as, as a sports venture. You got 10 guys, all these guys here. Do anyone understand that? What? We do, and we appreciate <laughs> that, and we wish them yeah, well with the actual exchange. No, 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 I was just saying, no, I don't give a f**k with the, I don't give a rat's ass what the hell you think. I'm saying to you, look at these guys here. Look at them. <laughs> what? But Dennis, don't put it on them. Don't use them as an excuse they for the behavior that you're putting on they yourself. They came here. They came here. <laughs> wow, dude. He's what? awesome. Super soft. Yeah, he's there. just fucked up. Wow. That's why he's wearing glasses. He's... That's why. Toasted. That's oh, why yeah. he goes to Kim Jong Un's. Yeah, he gets, he gets toasted up there. He gets the hookups. He gets the. Hook he gets the hook uh, what did he even say? I don't. He sound like Rocky. A A three A. I don't give. I don't give. I don't give a shit. I'll give a rat to us. Wow. Oh man. Yeah. So, so that this was is good. that's what you've been missing, man. Yeah. I guess. In your cabin up by the woods. Pretty crazy. Well, uh. I mean, what? That's that's it. That's all that's happened. That's all that's happened so far in the world. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like this year, I since mean, you've been gone for the first time. Not Kelly Clarkson. But but uh, Dennis Rodman can't really get in any trouble for like he hasn't done anything. No, I mean, but the, even uh, if even if he even if he comes out and supports like whatever he whatever Kim Jong Un did, it's not like he can even get in trouble for supporting it. Like you have freedom of belief. Yeah, no, he can't. But that's just it's. And it's, there's also an I mean, American. Uh, there's also an American being held prisoner in North that's, Korea that's right why, now too. Oh, really? The big and, thing about that, like, thing, didn't do anything Dennis wrong. Rodman. Is it Dennis Rodman? No, no. The big thing about that, why he's getting mad because the guy from CNN kept asking about what about the guy that they have captured there that's American? Are they going to release him? And he's like, that's not about. We're not about that at all. We're not about. We want to play basketball. And that's it. <laughs> we're here to, I didn't even we're know here Dennis Rodman still played basketball. Oh, sometimes he dribbles the ball around. I guess. I he mean, gets blasted and starts the playing. The double balls. <laughs> yeah. He dribbles the double balls Can't around. even see him anymore <laughs> with those thick black glasses on that he had. Yeah, that was good. He's just he's just a pure entertainer. I guess so. He's pulling old Miley Cyrus. That's all That's all old washed up celebrities have to do now. Oh, yeah. Get famous is just do something insane. Just like exactly. Justin, Justin Biebs. Justin See, oh, that's nothing yeah. in America that's really, really important that should not be important what? right now. All over the, all over CNN, what? all over every news channel. Why are you yeah. watching so much CNN nowadays? No, I'm just saying. CNN. No, I'm, I'm on YouTube, and that always pops up with oh, okay. stupid stuff like that. So, like, 
Justin, I guess Justin Bieber was caught was caught throwing eggs at his neighbor's house. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Just going yeah. ballistic at his neighbor and throwing shitload of eggs at his if house. If you're Justin Bieber, who is your neighbor? Like Will Smith? Yeah, he's egg in Will Smith's house. <laughs> <laughs> Take this, <laughs> Big Willie <Willy> style. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, man. No, I was watching the news the other day and I wrote down all the news stories. Just because I thought it was so funny. Because you like were... to practice your newscasting. I was like, hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to Late Night <laughs> with oh, Jim with Anders. Late news. First story is bomb suspect in the house with guns and death to Obama posters. And he, the whole house <laughs> oh, is rigged with bombs. In Ohio. They caught this guy. No. What? Yeah. That was just local news? The local news. Local news. This is all local news. Next one. Death sentence for a man who raped and murdered a pregnant woman. Um, he was on the death sentence, and it, like the the lethal injection took 24 minutes for him to die, and he was like struggling and doing what? all this crazy shit. Yeah, so that was the second story. <laughs> Third story: one person shot after a home invasion uh, down in Columbus. Uh, Russell Johnson, he was on Gilligan's Island. He died, age 89. <laughs> uh, officers seized Bieber's phone. Uh, oh, so was the Bieber's. Yeah. Was that in Ohio? Uh, yeah, that was in Ohio. <laughs> no, that oh. wasn't in Ohio. <laughs> It's all the news they report on. So yeah. basically, what the news is telling news. me right now is Ohio is a really good place to live. Oh, yeah. It's just insane. Uh, let me just go through these real quick, though. Maurice Snow charged with son crack cocaine. Crime alert. Grieving widow's house burglarized during her husband's funeral. What? Man sues officers for a $100 million lawsuit saying discrimination. Cheating scandal at the Air Force Missile Test Office. <laughs> <laughs> Your personal information is vulnerable. T- tune in at 11. Oh Hershey's God. is making a new candy bar. That's like the <laughs> only good news they have. <laughs> why? Why is that in news God. nowadays? Like you will turn on the news and it will literally be this guy died, this person got murdered, this person's on death row. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> it's like what? Uh, have have a one good special night. thing. <laughs> this dog lost all its legs, but it's so happy now. Yeah. Like, it's like one. In other news, like this one. dog's head got run over by a car. But by luckily, a car. he's still alive. And he's rolling around in his playpen. After you killed two babies. <laughs> oh, like, they God. keep adding things. It's nuts. That is pretty crazy. But it, it, it's, it, I think it would, be ha- it would be hard to be a newscaster because, you know, you, you come into work that day and they're like, all right, here's the stories you got to tell and this is what you got to do. And it's like... You, Some don't, di- you might not believe in it either. You, know, you might not believe in it or you also just might not, like, want to do that. It's like, I don't really feel like announcing all these murders well, you, you, and deaths but you know what you're getting into when you're going to new, news like newscasting school yeah but that's what that my reason for the for writing that down is because that's not what the news should be what should, oh, I that, agree. What what should be, be Ron Burgundy <laughs> it should be like uh, school lets out early today kids had a great day yeah <laughs> like, fun, I think well, fun things like not and not as so like I think dark I just and think dismal. that the more yeah. uh, the more uh, <laughs> focus they bring to like negative things, I think that uh, a big, a big what you're what you're doing is you're basically like convincing criminals to do criminal stuff. Because right. if they if they do it, so I don't think a hundred percent of them is like I'm gonna do this to get on the news. Like that but knockout thing, though. Sorry, but like what you're saying, like I'm gonna do this to get on the news. But the knockout thing that's been going on, the trend. Have you heard about that? What were you like choke yourself? Or are you like oh you just go up Rather to random you people, punch the people, <laughs> punch them. They were reporting it. All over the place, and then more news places were just reporting and reporting. Like, yeah, because well, you're putting that shit out there on the exactly. internet. Exactly. Like, if you if you report on it, people are gonna just do it to be like, eh, yeah, I'm gonna be, get my everybody's doing it, and I, I might not get news, on the news, yeah. but I, I might get on the news, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So, yeah, I, I want to play that game though, because with well, the knockout game, yeah, I kind of want to try it. <laughs> I want to play it with my friends at like a house party. You just go, oh my god, so, like, knock random, each other out, <laughs> random people. Like you're just like, having a conversation with a girl. And your buddy just comes up and punches you in the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. Uh, I think that's a. I think that's a. Well, a well. A well worthy trend that we should probably. Yeah. We should probably hook it up. Sometime. We could. We could. We could get like a knockout team going on. Yeah, you know knockout team. We could have uh, sports. Sports jackets. Matching sports jackets and. Uh, the knockout boys. We could all have nicknames like. The slugger. The, sl- <laughs> the slugger. That would be my name. Yeah, yeah, your name would be the slugger. The great Bambino. <laughs> Mine would be the little jab boy. <laughs> the little jab boy. You're, you're the, you don't punch heads, you punch kidneys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that didn't knock me out. It just hurt. <laughs> That's part of the game, man. <laughs> uh, wow. But uh, one more thing that I want to bring up about newscasters is uh, how they can just how they can go from 
something that's so negative to something so positive. Oh, yeah. It's always the weirdest transition where they'll be like, and uh, the whole family died and um, no bodies were found. Uh, on another note, <laughs> we have all of these puppies. That, yeah. Like, <laughs> this dog just had nine puppies. And you're like, oh, this my God. What is it? Uh, what is going the, on? The Indiana Pacers won the basketball game. <laughs> yeah. It's just like their brain is so... Breaking news. Woman dies in car accident. Yeah. It's like they ha- they're so used to bad and, and good they're just like I don't even know the difference anymore I'm just I'm just saying I'm a robot the prompter. exactly I'm a there's robot. no there's no empathy they just read the news they're just unempathetic news readers <laughs> so uh so, that's... Well, nothing another thing related to news this newscaster I think in Florida this this the viewer was viewer one time sent her this letter saying how fat she was. Oh, I <laughs> like, read about that. It was on, I saw that I saw, video. It was, yeah, it's on YouTube. I was like, whoa, who does that? Like, yeah, but she viewer, like goes off on the I know, news. On, on that, like, live TV. Wait, what? All right, yeah. he, ex- okay, so th- they send in, this viewer this sends viewer, in. This viewer, the first time he's ever seen the news with her casting it, he goes and s- types up a letter, emails it to her, and says, you're, you're disgusting, obesity's wrong, and you're the thing that's wrong in this nation. Lose some weight, you fat bitch, okay. blah, 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 blah. So, so what happens with the letter? She reads she it on reads the air? She reads it. No, she's, well, she reads it, and then she goes on the air <coughs> and talks, just throws the mighty sword of the news at him. So she uses <laughs> her news outlet to just eat this guy? Yeah, basically. Yeah. But she yeah. does it tight, like, she does it she, pretty sick. Oh, she yeah, she's very, very, shit. like, yeah. proper about everything and just... And the dude probably feels like a giant asshole. Well, I guess, I mean, if you're to that stage where you're doing that on the air, first of all, I still think it's wrong that she did that. I think I think bringing attention to any kind of troll like that is just going to feed... No, I mean, the, that's what he wants. That's no, what, He wants a reaction out of her. So even true. even her reacting in any way is like a victory oh, yeah. for but him. The other thing is that she posted on Facebook and then it blew up on Facebook too. It got her like, like over like 100,000 views or whatever like that. This yeah. post that she made. I mean, I so guess... It's probably fake. Actually, yeah, it's probably, it might be it's probably a plant. Really, really, I do think that almost everything viral is fake. Dude, have you seen the demon baby thing? Oh, uh, no. Let me look. Oh, my it. God. You, that is so funny, dude. That's it the is, craziest It's pretty cool. Thing. And it's another it's thing. Movie. Yeah, exactly. It's a marketing. But you don't strategy. notice it until the very end. It, it gives like a little trailer at the very end. Devil baby attack? Yeah, devil baby attack. Wow. It's, uh, it's like an animatronic baby that they made. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, turn down a little bit. But uh, yeah, turn down way more. It's really loud. But uh, basically, they they just made this uh, they made this animatronic baby that that sits in its crib, and it and it and it's remote controlled and everything. Oh so they just God. roll it around town. It's like animatronic too, so like the face moves and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they just they just roll it up to some random people and the baby starts crying, and then it just pops out. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. Oh. But uh, I think. Oh my god, that's scary. How did you find it? It's just called Devil Baby Attack. Yeah. Wow, it's already up to 32 million views. Yeah. When I when I saw it the other day, it was at like uh, 10 million or so. But but yeah, it's. And then there's the, the guy on the street. The street worker is just unfazed by it. But yeah, it's it's insane. It, like you said, it, it's insane how how much they can make it move. Like they can make the face move. They can make the little arms grab the side of the carriage. And, yeah, and the carriage. And, uh, oh god, I think, the baby freaks out. <laughs> uh, I think there's <laughs> no, but like this is like the. Oh! Perfect... It's puking. For a movie yeah. to do this, though, like yeah. that, they're gonna get so much money from just these views alone and going in the movie to see it. Yeah. This is for a movie. Yeah. Yeah. This is for uh, the de- what the devil or something. It's the like devil's the do or something like that. Here, I think. Here. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Oh my god. Devil's do. <laughs> yeah. So it's like just at the very end is the trailer, but. Viral wow. marketing, I think that's one of the one of the better strategies that. Uh, it's a form of guerrilla too. That's really cool. It's a what? Like that. That's like guerrilla marketing. The little baby rolling around and shit. Like that's yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, but they did a they did a similar thing. I don't know what. Uh, ro- the ro- uh, what's what, that? Was what's it Paranormal called? Activity or something like that? Mm. Where the uh, the girl was in the coffee shop and uh, she was like she was in the coffee shop 
and it was it was staged um but only her only she knew and like maybe the workers knew that it was staged so everyone else in the coffee shop didn't know what was going on but oh, uh and the chairs moving the tables moving shit yeah her her and this guy were that's for a, carrie are you gonna let me finish the story it's for carrie okay <laughs> that's for carrie um and she was arguing with this guy and then uh like the guy was in on it too and they were arguing and then all of a sudden she like she just like um she pushed him she like went like this with her hand and like pushed forward and he like went up against the wall and then slid up against the wall and was like what? suspended on the wall so they must have like a cable or something in the wall and he was just like standing there and then like she turns around and sees that everybody's watching her and she just like she just like uh, pushes away with her arms and like all the tables and chairs just like spread away from her <laughs> and then everybody's just like what the heck and people are like running out of the out of the coffee shop like screaming yeah like, <laughs> yeah and then she screams and like all the glass and everything breaks in the in the coffee shop it was insane and the whole time i'm watching it, i was like this is a sweet prank who did this and at the end i think it was i think it was for carrie but it was like no it was for carrie yeah okay <laughs> but yeah I, I think those are i think those are some of the best uh marketing marketing decisions that you can make is is something that's especially for like a horror movie or like something that suits the genre of people like you know yeah kids our age or people our age just going on the internet and checking out what's the weirdest video online right now and and i think those people are the people that are more inclined to go to a movie like that. So, yeah. um, I don't know. I haven't really seen any viral marketing uh, things like that for, like, I don't know, soap operas or, or, or I don't know, rom-coms or anything like soap that. Soap operas? I don't know. <laughs> what would they do for that? I was thinking rom <laughs> I was thinking that, like, a romantic comedy, but then I... Oh, what would they do for viral yeah, for that? Yeah, they like, could like, make out on a make bench. Make out, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. I said I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> Zach and Miri make a porno and people are just fucking everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> just kidding, we're not really in love. We're just banging for the movie. It's we're just a movie, that. guys. Get it? No, no, we don't. We don't get it. See the tattoo, Zach and Miri make a porno. <laughs> See the tattoo, the real tattoo. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think about uh, uh, selling selling your body for ad space? Would you ever do that? Oh my gosh. It, it, it'd depend. It, be... But it, it couldn't be like anywhere where no one would ever see it. Like, Cause right, if you're, if you're it, paying yeah. someone money to have something on their body, you want it to be at least some, not not on your forehead, I guess, but like probably on your arm or like your what a tattoo, forearm, like a mark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For a movie? No, like for anything. like for anything for like a company. If someone was to come up to you and be like, "Did you hear about the guy that got a tattoo on his face for Mitt Romney?" What? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. When he was running for president. What? Yeah. And it's like he got like five hundred thousand dollars for this tattoo on his face. Yeah. And he wants to get it removed now. <laughs> well, for five hundred thousand dollars. But he had to keep it on the entire campaign. But couldn't you pay to get it removed? Yeah, but you know, it's like on his face. It's on his face. Like, go find a picture. <laughs> well, wouldn't it? Hurt? It would probably yeah. hurt to get it removed, right? It would. Yeah, it hurts a lot worse to get tattoos. I removed. think. I think I would do that though. For five hundred thousand dollars. For half a million dollars, I would. I think I would support a Mitt Romney or whatever camp. Even if I didn't agree with their views, I would. I would support their name on my forehead. For, no. Yeah, because after the campaign or after you already have your money, you can just go get it removed anyways. You know it doesn't cost five hundred thousand dollars to get it removed. Yeah, is it's that gonna, it? there. It is. It's yeah, gonna suck and be pain. It's an R. It's actually doesn't. It's not as bad as I thought it was. No, it and doesn't you, say his name at all. Yeah, it's like a. I, I don't you know. You just say it's like a rubber. That guy also does not look like someone I would want supporting. <laughs> That's what right. I mean. Like spreading he my views. He creepy as shit. Yeah. Like he has a weird bowl cut ponytail type thing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, he's all over here. Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Maybe he liked it. Maybe he got his uh, 15 minutes of fame out of it. But I don't know. I've never heard of him until he, until then. But are you sure it was $500,000? I swear, yeah. That's pretty I crazy. would not get a tattoo on the side of my head. I think I think I would do for that. okay. Let's say for a million dollars, Apple wants you to put the Apple logo right here on the side of your forehead. Fuck yeah! For a million. Wait, dollars. you just said you wouldn't do it. No, I said I wouldn't just not do it for like five thousand dollars. But saying, for a million, you would. No, for five hundred thousand, I would do it for five hundred thousand. You would. Yeah. So why? What were you saying? No. Would you get a politician? Because you said name? you would do it for any. You would do it for any price, and I was like, no. When no. did I say that? You did. Okay. Well, clearly the tape will prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're over there. Not. You're over there texting it will on not. your phone. <laughs> yeah. You will not. You will not. I'm busy, man. 
Yeah, you're a busy man. I am a busy sorry. man. We'll, it's all right. We'll cut you out of the next one. So. Oh, oh, okay, Dad. My bad. Jeez, hey, all sorry. right. It's like when, when you don't go to baseball practice, your dad finds out. Jesus. Jeez, your dad's like, oh, you didn't go to baseball practice. You, what? you don't need to fucking quit. Were you expected to drive yourself to baseball practice? Yeah, when you were little, you had to. You had to sit on phone books and drive yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Well, time, you, time you know why? Your it's called Little League. So little you got to get into the league of driving soon. Yeah. Okay, that was okay. Just... So, so <laughs> all right. So uh, there was some cool things on the internet to, this week about CES, Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, did you guys do any research or look at anything about that? CES. What, what is that? What is? Can you explain it to me what that is? It's in Las Vegas once a year, and it's Consumer Electronics Show. I'm probably wrong. So like robots. In the comments like you're an idiot, but like they a, show like advanced electronics, like new electronics. So like a robot, possibly like I robot running mm-hmm. around. Stuff like that, really, actually. They but they had the steam machine. Have you guys uh, steam box? The steam box, yeah. No, oh, no. Oh, the steam, the steam, the steam console. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool. Have you guys seen anything about that? Uh, I've seen some stuff about it. How big Reddit, is it? But it's hmm. like it's like a GameCube uh, size. It's there's gonna be a bunch of different looking ones. Yeah. Right now they're, they're in their in their beta, where they're releasing like a bunch of the like if you got into their beta program, <clears> you got a steam box and. Uh, the weird thing about it is they're not sending the same thing to everybody. They're sending it with uh, different kind of processors and different kind of uh, oh, graphics see, see cards. See what's the best, you know? Yeah. See what see what they they complain about. Well, like I, well, no, I don't think it's to see what the, it's what is the best because they're planning on marketing it in different packages. Like they're oh, planning okay. on marketing it like. Yeah, there's um, gonna be an Alienware one. Yeah, because because be... because some of the some of the ones that you can pay for are like fifteen hundred three thousand dollars. But they also want to be able to market one. Three thousand dollars for a console. Well, if you if you think about it, it's not really a. It's a computer. Yeah, it's a computer that, that acts like a console, kind of. It's like a home home media. Computer. How's the controller look? Is it getting? Is it still the pad thing? Or yeah, they they they've, they've upgraded it since the beginning. Though they've had a couple yeah. of different prototypes. I don't yeah. know. I feel. Like I just. I would want to like mess around with it. See how. But cool it I mean, it looks sweet. They're also they're also going to make smaller or like. Um, less less advanced models for people who are so used to buying like a three or four hundred or five hundred dollar console. Like oh, they're gonna no. make a lower priced one, but they're also gonna have like those big ones. So they're sending out a bunch of different ones just to kind of I don't know. I guess to I guess to test that, but at the same time, I don't think they're they're looking to only condense it down to one final version. I think they're planning on having a, a lot of different versions in it um, at the end. But I don't know. So what what else other than the Steam Box was there? Um, there was there was this one thing that was like a car. It was this, I think it was like a car that was hooked up to some app on this guy's phone, and you could pull up in front of a store that he was going to, get out of his car, and swipe the button on his app, and his car would go park itself. What? In a parking lot? <laughs> yeah. Through like GPS or yeah. And it knew when other cars were there. Yeah, it had like sensors on all sides, and so like if anybody got close to it, it would slow down or stop. Can you imagine seeing that like happen right now? But even like even now for people that hadn't seen that like if i hadn't seen that and i saw today like some guy get out at, at, at freaking the mall or something and, yeah, and, and swipe something out. on his phone and all of a sudden but like if you think about it, like that's probably something that's gonna be pretty that's gonna be pretty capable in the future <clears throat> yeah yeah like if they can do that at ces now like in in 10 years why wouldn't everybody just be doing that so that's how you'll mock your car or like start it no, it, it, you, it, you didn't. You must not heard me. You pull up in front of the store and you get out of the car and you swipe on your app and the car and goes and parks. Oh, itself. into a garage. Jesus, no, I'm not, not, yeah, not. <laughs> So that's how you get out of your car. So that's how you get out. You, you like you swipe your your phone and it like boots you out. <laughs> cool, because I always hated getting out of the car. Oh my stuff, god, so. man. It's so cool when you when you do stuff like that because then when you disagree with me, everyone's like, "Well, I would have agreed with Zach, but I walked away earlier." He I said something away. about getting out of your car with an iPhone app, and <laughs> it just kind of lost yeah. me. Swipe a button on your iPhone, and then dude, a I walked out the kitchen, out. and I was like, "I'm still listening." Siri so comes on and I'm says, not. "It's now safe to exit your vehicle." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Siri. You are the future. You're the future. It just unlocks your doors and doesn't let you out. It's like. You may not exit. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I think that's a little bit more uh, inventive than the uh, than the Steambox, but I don't know. Another thing with Steambox is I think it's running on Linux. Um, really? So, so that should be interesting because yeah, it's a ver- it's Steam OS. 
yeah. the version of Linux. Yeah, but that that'll be interesting because right now, as of right now, I think like maybe out of all the games on Steam, I want to say like a really low percentage of them are Linux based. So it's gonna be, I don't know, I, unless unless game companies start realizing that Steambox is like a thing, but but right now it's to the point where game companies really have a say as to whether Steambox becomes a thing or not. Because if they don't start writing games for Linux, Linux yeah. then, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can get a Steam box and you're going to pay, you know, some, some people could pay the 1500 or three grand God, for yeah. something that only runs like 10% of the games that are going to come out. So. Oh, that'd be insane. Yeah, so I don't know. It's, it's like, going to be tricky. Like no good games either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you get some, some good games, but most for the most part, I, I think you're right. Um, so did you have something? You looked at me. Like you oh, no. Say, I was going to say I, uh, I got the new Zelda. For uh, what? Nintendo DS. Wow. I'm playing that. Is that fun? Pretty cool. I actually, I wasn't ever really a huge Zelda fan. Me either. When I was a kid, but, uh, so, I don't know, I guess, I guess more for the nostalgia. I think people, I think people would, uh, I guess, well, I was reading reviews and they were like, oh yeah, it's so nostalgic, like it brings me back to Zelda and everything. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. It was still, it was still a, a pretty fun game. It wasn't anything, uh. I wasn't excited for this as I was when the new Pokemon came out. When the new Pokemon came out, that was nostalgic <laughs> for me. So I was like, oh my god, a new Pokemon. But this one was just like, all right, well, everybody likes Zelda, so I might as well go ahead and... Uh, I don't think it's called Zelda. Is it called Zelda? Is it called Link to the Past or something? It like might be. Link to the Future. Link to the Future. There's I something with Link out. in there. I uh, see, I would love to play that, but I have such a hard time um, staying engaged in like a handheld game for some reason yeah. I, I, I can't get engaged in those and I'm like I don't know I don't know with, with Pokemon I got engaged like I got engaged to a lot of Pokemon you got engaged uh, to a lot of Pokemon yeah. did you play it on your computer <laughs> Uh, well yeah I had, I had played Pokemon on, on like an emulator and stuff but I mean the new one you you uh, you couldn't there's there's no way to emulate it so I, I uh, ended up getting it on DS but uh, or 3DS but um oh but oh, sorry, 3DS. Well, it's the you can't play it on DS, so that's why I said 3DS. Isn't there a new one out that's like a flat one? It's a 2DS. Yeah, what the hell's that? It's the most weirdest looking thing I've ever seen. It's like the 3DS, but it's supposed to be like a cheaper one for yeah. for people who you know don't want to spend. Uh, actually, I think the 3DS is like 170 or something like that's that. Not that bad. Oh my and the, gosh! And the 2DS is like 130 or maybe maybe it's 100, but I'm pretty sure it's like 130. So it's not that much more expensive for a 3DS and you also don't have this big block like it doesn't fold in half yeah it's just this big like it's oh, I think it's bigger than the original Game Boy wow. like it's it's pretty it's pretty weird <laughs> like how it's shaped I don't I don't understand I guess I guess their whole marketing play around it was uh, just entirely for hey if you want a cheaper version of the 3DS if you want to still play 3DS games but don't want to buy the 3DS here take this hunk of junk I mean, yeah, I don't know. I have no experience with it, so it might be it might be fine. It might play fine. It also doesn't play in 3D, so you don't get the 3D aspect of the. Is the 3D uh, aspect that cool? It it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be like, I almost didn't. I almost didn't realize how that they could do it. But when you when you have it, and I, I'll show it to you because I did bring my 3DS. I'll show it to you after the podcast. But uh, it's cool for a while. And I and I'm glad that because on the side they have they do have a dial where you can either tone down the 3D or just turn it off. Yeah. And I'm glad they have that option because after a while of playing it, you kind of mm. just want to. Your eyes are just like, all right, I'm done with this. Let's turn off the 3D for a while. But, oh really? But it is cool because it. I don't know. I didn't think that they could make 3D without you having to put like glasses on or something like that. But it's just a way with like the the bunch of different I guess layers of of images that they have that makes it makes it look 3D. You kind of have to hold it at just the right angle. But when you have it and you have your your right amount of 3D dialed in, like it takes some fine tuning. It's like a freaking uh, old antenna, old yeah. TV antenna. But once you get it, it's it's pretty cool. I um, feel like if I got one, I'd want to play Mario like forever. Yeah. Do you yeah. have Mario? I don't I don't have Mario. Oh, uh, what are you thinking? I know. Does it connect to Wi-Fi? Uh what, the DS? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cuz you can uh you can just download all your games if you want. Oh, so you, you can download Mario whenever you want. Yeah. What, what, what are like some so things you can do on your DS just play games and that's it? Uh I mean, they always have like I feel like every console tries to be more than a console and like same for this handheld like it's it's no different. I mean, they have like 
a bunch of different things. Like they have a camera where you can take 3D pictures and, and stuff like that. <laughs> That's but hilarious. I haven't really used it because the like you can just tell. Like sometimes I'll accidentally start the camera because I think if you press both of the side buttons when you're on the home screen, you start the camera, and it always says starting the camera. I'm like, oh, God, God damn it! Damn. <laughs> but uh, take a 3D picture of your butt. Yeah, but then uh, it <laughs> it starts the camera and uh, you can just tell that the quality is going to be horrible. So I'm like, I'm not even going to try this, but. <clears throat> I don't know, they have, they have like a bunch, it's kind of like apps, I guess, like you can download a bunch of different apps and, and stuff like that. Uh, they also have this new thing, I think this is new for the 3DS, but it's called Street Pass, where you can, it's basically meant for people to like always have their 3DS on them, and if you just close it and you don't power it off, it goes into like a standby mode, yeah. but it's in a standby mode where if you pass someone, if you street pass someone who plays like the same games as you or something, it like saves that person's data and like... In, in certain games, like in Pokemon, uh, once this you... This must be really big in Japan. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I could see that with a lot with a lot of people. Yeah, well, yeah. if you have a lot of people in a certain area. A defined area. Means. Like, I don't see it. Like, I don't see, like, 3DSs or anything. Well, you... Handheld you, like that being really popular. Yeah. I don't know. Right I now. mean, you'd be surprised. Like, if... Like, one time I went out to the mall, and I, I had my 3DS. I just had it in my back pocket. Maybe if you're 11 or 10. Huh? Well, I was I was uh, twenty three. I know. I was I'm saying this. maybe it's popular with eleven, ten year olds, of mm, course. Okay. So what? <laughs> what <laughs> just shut up, Zach. <laughs> so I was I was walking around the mall, and and when I got home, I actually had like uh, I think like two different people who had who I had street passed with just yeah you know, random. How old were they? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but I that I kind of I kind of want like a handheld game too because I freaking love playing games, but I don't have a console. And that's I pretty think, cheap for uh, a yeah. console. Just yeah. like if it's got cool <laughs> games on it, like Zelda. Yeah, I, you can I see. I, I got so many pass buys when I walk past the street pass, school. dude. Street pass. <laughs> I got so and many. And no one's those. walking around at elementary school except for you. With I don't know. I don't big know. old yes. beard. <laughs> hey, yes. come here, boy. I got some candy. <laughs> You're trying to flip this around. I'm gonna street pass your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. Oh jeez. <laughs> So, anyways, go ahead, Zach. Say something on the podcast. Say something so on I can the just, podcast. I can just tear you down. Oh. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Get torn oh, down. Oh man. Go ahead. Jeez. Uh, what Did you see that flick about? Wolf of Wall Street? Oh my god. I'm not bringing that up. <laughs> this again. Is, I'm what? Just I'm just kidding. Nobody knows about it. It's Everybody like knows about it. Everybody knows about it. Okay. So that's it, Zach. You you interrupted me to, to not bring. I wasn't interrupting. I was just pointing uh, out a fact. Geez. Pointing out a fact. What? This is the third podcast <laughs> yeah. cast and the seventh fight between the two. Of you. <laughs> that only little kids play handheld games. Mom and dad are fighting. Oh, hey, right I'm now. sorry. I don't play Battlefield. The super awesome graphics oh, in the big guns. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Man. Oh. Sorry. Oh. All right. You're not invited back for the next podcast. Did you guys see that a nun <laughs> gave birth to someone? A nun gave birth. A nun gave birth. She was unaware she was pregnant. Oh God! What? Jesus. That's what they always say. What? None in Italy gives birth unaware she was pregnant. How can wow. you be unaware? You have, you have to have sex. Immaculate to be... conception. Oh, it's could the, be. Oh, it's the second coming. It's yeah. the second coming, or it could have been the first coming. I would hope. That's crazy. Where's the drum? Where's the drum? She's, she named him Jesus. Oh my God! Did she really name him Jesus? No, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that would have that would have been a story in and of itself, but Jesus? that would have been like a uh, viral marketing ploy from the from the church. That would be something. Oh uh, wow. Well. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna th- what was that? Church. Was we that too we, far? Was that too no, far? Said, that no, one of the things we don't talk about in the podcast: one is religion, two is blah blah blah. blah, blah. Dude, I started out with the nun, though. I'm sorry. It's all right. And then everybody, then he goes, every hey Jim, everybody here was fine with it until Zach made a big deal about it. Oh, so it's all good. Geez. Man, you're just you're going into me now. He's laying in. You're laying in there. Laying in you're trying like, to that. get in that cut. You're not getting in that cut, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what were you about to say, Master Dre? I don't even know. I don't even know where really? my mind was going there. I don't know either. Jeez. Um, shoot. The curly know. head. Zach, go ahead. Bill. Go ahead, Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Go Please. Ahead. Please enlighten us with your. Please knowledge. say something that saves saves your position on this podcast. That saves it because right now it's just, it's just right. dwindling fast. So dwindling. I went. Uh, you know what? I I went to lumosity.com and I tried out their little uh, brain teasers. You know, to exercise your. I brain. have no clue what lumosity is. Actually. Oh, it's all over TV. There's commercials for it. It's a thing you sign up for, and you do little brain teasers to strengthen your brain, and you get better and better at 
Do you get do you memory. accrue some kind of points, or is there any kind of reward system, or is it just kind of like do this because it's good for you? No, you accrue points, and and they and they measure all your metrics and stuff for whatever type of games you're playing, like memory or solving equations quick or t- thinking of different words or something. So what like would that. be like an example of a game? Like there's one example of a game where there's a bunch of squares, and then they're and they're all brown, but so then a bunch of them turn blue. And then they turn back brown again, and you have to click which ones turned blue. You have to remember okay. which ones. So, like, that'd be an example of a game. Okay. More like a memory-based game. Yeah, that that one is. But there's different there's different styles. So there's another one where, like, Do raindrops you... are coming out with easy math problems, and then you have to solve the math oh, okay. problems before they like, hit Like, uh, freaking, what was that one where there was words just, like, uh, coming down, you had to type them before they uh, hit the bottom, or... Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an old, it's, uh, it was like an old typing game that I always used to play. Slingo. In. Slingo? Is yeah. that what it was called? <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> was that your best guess? That Slingo. was my best guess. So, uh, but, so, so it makes you, so it's a thing. I subscribe to it. It actually costs $40, really? $40 for a year. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's it's kind of tight. Like whenever you play a game, you're like, oh shit, this is fucking hard. Yeah. Like, oh, do you have to like do you have to like prepare yourself? Well, before you sit down, you're just like, all right, it's time to clear the mind. Let's let's do this. No, well, <laughs> I try to, but sometimes I'll sit down. Like if I'm, some, one time I was I was I did it really sweet for like a few days, and I was getting like really sweet scores. And then one day I was fucked up, and I sat down and I did it. <laughs> it's like ruining my knowledge on the oh muscle. My like, God. Dang. Wow, you went from smart to retard overnight. <laughs> you <did>. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So does it give you like a ranking system? Is there like a leaderboards where you can compare it with your friends? Or? It, 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 it compares it with all the people that are signed up to the website. And there's like 80,000, I think. Is oh that, my God. So and everybody And it tells you what percentile you're in in, oh, okay. in in the different categories. And then you can do age groups or whatever you want. So what was your best category? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I could look it up real quick. Lumosity. Lumosity. So, so it sounds like a pill. Yeah, it was when you when you said it. it I thought it, it sounded like a feminine I, pill. A feminine. Yeah, it's a feminine product. It's a feminine product. Attention. My best. My best one is attention. Attention. Yeah. So, what's an example game for attention? I'm not real sure. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you have a lot of attention when it comes to uh, the attention game. I'm really good at the attention games, but I don't pay attention to which ones are training attention. Mm. That's, that makes sense. Yeah, you know. It makes perfect so sense. So how did you hear about this Lumosity? It's on TV. Like, they do commercials for it on TV. Oh, really? They talk about it, and I was like, oh, I'll check it out. And I went to it, and I was like, oh, I like this. Huh. It's probably pretty dumb. Some people probably think it's really dumb, but I think it's kind of cool. It's I'm sure cool. I'm sure there's a lot of fellow Lumosity users out there. Probably. You would be surprised. So that's, would you say, as far as since the last time we talked, that's been the extent of your gaming has been Lumosity? Lumosity. Um, that and... Uh, I've been playing a little. Uh, what what was I playing? It's uh, bringing up Steam here. Rogue playing Legacy. Oh, Rogue Leg. Yeah, you did text me about that. And I, I was, was playing like, a lot of Rogue Legacy. That's yeah. a fun ass game. Yeah, but it gets old after a while. Yeah, I I played the hell out of it. So I I, I could I could safely say I got my money's worth. Yeah. But uh, also, I think that I was talking to you and and you didn't have uh, a controller, and that was a big thing. Like oh no, I do have a controller. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, that's that's better, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, if he is playing that on his keyboard, that's gotta suck. Like, yeah. I even when uh, before it even came out, I, I downloaded like the demo or the beta or something like that, and I was playing it. And within like the first five minutes, I was like, there's gotta be controller support for this game. I can't. There's no way I can play with the, right. the keyboard. It's just a platformer. I don't think was ever designed to be played with a mouse and keyboard. It's just, no way. Doesn't make sense, but. I oh, also cool. got Hotline Miami, but I haven't been able to configure my controls to play it right yet. On the controller? Yeah. Hmm. I couldn't figure it. I think when I, I play suck it, making the controls. What right controller yet. do you make? What, what it's you a, make? a PS3 contro- PS2 controller. PS2 controller. Or something. It's yeah. just it's just a it's an off-brand controller. Yeah. USB. It looks like a wired uh, PS3 or PS2. Instead, I like how instead of shapes, it has numbers for the buttons. Yeah. Numbered one through four. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And yes. that, yeah, and that works with your uh, <laughs> with Steam like that just picks it up natively. You don't yeah. have to install any like software or drivers or anything. Right. Huh. That's yeah. pretty cool because yeah, I know I know uh, Steam is pretty pretty closely tied with the Xbox controller. Like the, if you have an original Xbox wired controller, it'll it'll sync up with 
mostly every game, but uh, well, yeah, with because with this on Rogue Legacy, I had to freaking go and uh, I had to change all the buttons around and figure it oh, out. Oh, did a you? Bit, yeah. Okay, but it still picked up the controller. Like all you had to do was plug it into your your laptop in it, and it registered. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because mm-hmm. even for my uh, for my PS3 controller, I had it uh, hooked up with the USB. Because uh, you know the charging cable has USB, and I still had to I had to install some software to get it to recognize the controller and everything. So yeah, I've got yeah. that software. I don't know if maybe maybe that helps or not. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool, man. Very cool. So you've been playing Hotline Miami too and Rogue Legacy. And... No, I haven't played Hotline Miami at all. What's Hotline oh, Miami? No, Hotline Miami is like a it's like a top down uh, bullet hell type. It's kind of. I don't know. I kind of want to say it's like Realm of the Mad God, but it's not really because it's like uh, mission based, like level based. I hate that game. It's just like super hard. It's not. I I would say it's like it's like. Uh, uh, what was I saying? It was like Realm of the Mad God. Realm of the Mad God. That, <laughs> that game makes me hate it. So only much. only because of like the the angle that you're looking at and like, you, you know, you're looking you're looking, which I could have just said top down and left it at that, but uh, I don't know. It's really hard. And uh, it's for the. It's really hard. Yeah, it's, oh. it's really hard. Um, it makes me not want to play it. It looks tight though. Yeah, it is. It, it's it's a good kind of. It's a good kind of hard. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's the, it's the it's kind of good. It's a real feel good hard. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the kind of game where you're like you're gonna get stumped on a level for like twenty minutes and it's gonna be like you're gonna keep playing that same thirty seconds over and over again. But when you finally get it, you're like, yes, I got it. Yeah, like, it's pretty cool. Like, did I ever show you that uh, game where? Time only, it's like a first person shooter, but time only moves when you move. Yeah, uh, what was that no called? Way. Uh, what is that? Uh, Red Hot or Hot? Super Hot. That's super insane hot. sounding. So it's time, only, time when, you, when you stop moving, time doesn't do anything? Yeah, yeah, and it's like real simplistic in its design. So it's like all white, and I think you just, it's like red. The enemies are red, and like your bullets are red. But like you can, let's say you walk into a room, and then you stop, and you can like look around. And you're like, all right, well, there's a guy over here and a guy over here. So you, like, aim up to the first guy. You shoot your gun. And then you, like, move a little so your bullet travels and hits him. And then you, like, got to dodge the other guy shooting you. It's pretty cool. It almost makes it, like, a more realistic... I think you can make a more realistic AI in that sense because they can react to you really fast and all that stuff. Where yeah. I feel like in most games you have to kind of make the AI a little dumb or else people will just get completely obliterated. Yeah. But uh, I, don't, I, think it's, I think it's only in its demo stage right now. Uh, super hot is, but you can like download it for free and and, and play it there. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. It was it got on Steam really fast. Oh, super is it on, hot? Is it on Steam? It was it was like applied for a Steam green light and it got accepted in like two days or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I don't from from what it looked like, um, unless they were just like really really teasing that game. It didn't look like they had much developed on it. Yeah, um, yeah, it didn't. Look it seemed like they had their basic, their basic core of the game, but um, which I don't know if you had that already. I don't think it would be that hard to make more levels, but um, and then the way that the way that demo ended was just kind of weird. I won't ruin it for people who haven't played it, but it was just it was just really weird. Yeah, go to superhot.com and you can play the, the super hot, super hot. You put a demo on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's pretty sweet. I it's, think I actually even played it on my Mac, and it's it on seemed Steam to work too. relatively well. So I'm assuming whatever. Oh yeah, it, 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 it worked on my Mac. Probably. Yeah. Okay, I'll probably check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, you'll have yeah. to check it out. It's interesting. It's a it's a it's an interesting oh. twist to the uh, the old grind. So the old grind of FPS. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, we uh. Did we? <laughs> so yeah. I, was, I didn't know. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if we did or not. Dude, I'm still playing Hearthstone, man. Oh, you're playing Hearthstone yeah, still? This, like, this fool comes over to my house, sets up his laptop, and starts playing Hearthstone the entire time he's there. Well, what? that's not... No, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, you know, that's but not you're really loving this true. game a lot, aren't you? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm 100% like all you're about this You're trying to be game. like a Hearthstone uh, I'm employee. Trying, I'm trying to go pro, man. I'm trying Master? to go pro in You're trying to go pro? Yeah. You're no. getting good. No, I'm. I'm no, I'm, I've improved a lot over uh, what I started. What how I started playing, and I actually was. Uh, I have a bunch of friends. Well, I just have a bunch of friends in general. But uh, there's a bunch of people oh, on do? my on my friends list from I think when I used to stream oh. Diablo. So I have like a bunch of uh, I want to say like pseudo random people that are on my friends list, and sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's on. I don't pseudo know who he random. is, but but he's uh, he's on, and and there was one guy who's playing. Uh, Hearthstone the other night, and I just I just kind of was like, hey dude, do you want to play? And we were playing together, and and 
he was like he was he was doing a lot of the stuff that I used to do when I started playing. And I was like, huh, neat. Yeah, kind of, kind of. But I was like, man, if only he knew what I know now at his did you stage. Tell him? No, but I actually, oh, I actually you. did a, I did, I told him I was yeah. going to make some videos and I made some videos uh, the other day. I'll just kind of like, I haven't posted them yet. <laughs> they'll they'll them most know. likely be posted by the time, by the time this podcast is, is on. But, uh, but yeah, so I just kind of, kind of posted them, but it's like such a drastic change. It's like my, my channel, the first video I ever posted was Call of Duty where I was just like mowing people down with an RPD, just do, 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 like LMG, and then, or and then now it's just like, uh -huh. oh hey, I'm playing a uh, uh -huh. digital yeah. digital card game um, uh -huh. online, so <laughs> here's some tips and tricks that I've learned, and it's, <laughs> it's just like, what has my channel turned into? But but I don't know. Magic the Gathering is on next. Yeah. Tune in yeah. next. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just I like how the game plays. It's really easy for people to just pick up and play and. It's 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 one of those games where it's super easy to pick up and play, but it's really hard to like Get master. But you know, and and just the way it's presented and everything, it's really good. Blizzard did a really good job. But I'm not gonna sit here and shout out to Blizzard. Yeah, uh, shout out to shout Blizzard. Shout out Blizzard. Um, <laughs> you know, if you want to give you want to slide me a couple uh, extra beta keys so I can give them to my friends. Oh, oh I'd yeah, love to what, play what about that? But we should have a beta key giveaway. Beta key giveaway. I right now, it. you guys are going to do a beta key giveaway, even though we don't have a beta key to give away. So just stay tuned. We'll t we'll, we'll touch on it later. But you know what I was going to say, and I was going to say this, and then I started talking about Hearthstone, and I realized it completely contradicts what I'm about to say. What are you going to say? I don't like pl I don't like the way that games are like, there's so many uh, betas now, and there's so many... Uh, Would everybody no. like a slice of this pie? <laughs> no, I'm good. Pizza? I'm good on the pizza pie. No, I, was, just, I just brought some extra pieces in here because I figured... It was funny. You were you were texting something. me to come over. You're like, yeah, dude, I think Zach's still asleep, but you can come no, over. No, it's not exactly what you said either. What? You made this whole rendition of what, what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, oh, dude. If you want us to read the, the text read message it. conversation... Just read, we will. just read the conversation but, but, uh, that you and Jim had. But, no, it, it's way uh, too graphic. No, you need to come <laughs> it, on. It's way, it's way too graphic. We need a, we need like twenty viewer discretion is advised statements before we before not we read 20. that. But, I don't uh, think it's that graphic, yeah, is it? Yeah, dude, we not. were all I'm trying to say is we were cooking pizza at the same time from different. Oh places. yeah, we were cooking that pizza. That was pretty. That was pretty funny. Cooking the the pizza pie. Yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know. You you want to read it? It's not that quote, fun, though. quote not for that quote. Good. That way you can read your parts and I'll read mine. I think it'd be funny. We'll we'll read it like a uh, like. I'll read what I said <laughs> at the end. Like a play. All right. Hold on, let me bring up our, bring our up group convo. When did this start? Oh my god, this started like a yeah, shit. This, this, this is, is like the longest conversation about me that I'm fucking asleep. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I started out the conversation today, uh, and I said podcast. That's all I said. I was I meant to put a question mark by the way, but mm. after I sent it, I was. <laughs> I, I said was, cod pass. You said cod pass. We don't have to say you said. You said. <laughs> just okay. Read it. And then I said, <laughs> "Don't say that. <laughs> just read it." All right. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna let's start over from the beginning. All okay. Right. Podcast. Cod pass. We can do it at my crib. Time. Whenever you want, noon. I'm sure young Zachariah is still face down. In my lap. Choking. On my stogie. Swallowing gravy. Guzzling. Drooling out the sides. Wishing he could go home. But he can't. Leather straps hold him tightly. Bound and gagged, his fate is sealed. A wave of energy washes over him as he comes to the realization. <laughs> <laughs> and he sucks that rod like his daddy taught him. <laughs> he likes the feeling of a hand on the back of his head. And a stray penis up his rectal cavity. <laughs> Look, Ma, he picked up a stray. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we had the conversation about how we were both making pizzas. We did a lot of bros and dudes. Dudes. And then that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then Zach woke up. And then Zach woke up. And uh, Jim up. decided to hop in the shower. And that was, that's what led us here. So, uh, anyways, I like I heard that. <laughs> video games. Um, but yeah, no, I was going to say... Um, all these early access, I don't even know if you guys have experienced this that much, but I know with me being on Steam and, and mostly being on computer, <laughs> there's a lot of, why are you just walking you around? Doing? Dude, I'm trying to get the blood pumping. What are you getting blood <laughs> pumping for? <laughs> Talking about all these what sexual, the sexual acts with Zach and he's like, oh God, I gotta get my blood pumping. <laughs> hey, if those words didn't help you, I don't know what will. But, uh, <laughs> but no, all these early access games where it's like, 
you can play the game before it's done in like it's early alpha or like super early beta stage and you have to pay like most of the time sometimes it's even more money than what it actually will cost at release but it's like hey you get to play it early and it's not a full game yeah. so you play it and you're like eh, that was okay that very good. and and you set up your you set up your expectations to the level of a beta you don't you you can't hold it against the game cuz you're like oh it's just a beta but then at the end of the day like I know a lot of games where I'm like oh, I can't wait to play this game I got to get it early release and then I burn myself out on the game yeah. and when it comes out on actual release I don't go back to play it cuz I'm like eh. Yeah, I already played. Wasn't that cool I already beta. played the half of the game that came out early, so yeah. I don't. I don't really feel the need to uh, to go back and do it. So I think. So what I was going to say is, I hate that, and I hate that pattern. And I think I'm going to stop uh, getting games for early releases in beta. But then at the same time, I love Hearthstone right now, and it's still in beta. It's right? still it's in closed beta right now. It's getting ready to go into open beta, but um, I don't know. I think it might be different as far as Blizzard goes because their games tend to be super polished and uh, they don't put out like their their definition of a beta is what most companies now would consider an actual release like an initial yeah. release because a lot of people especially with with the internet or with the uh, software updates or the the content updates to the games and how they can change like on the whim like I feel like a lot of companies just throw out a game and they're like. It's not completely Done. flawless, <laughs> or yeah, yeah, like it's like I don't know, like you know, we'll throw it out and we'll patch it day one. Like when you get a day one patch, you're just like really, you, you couldn't have, you obviously <laughs> weren't just... ready to put out the game. <laughs> like I don't understand, but I don't know. Day one patch, yeah, just a qualm. We've got to level one, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll patch in the other levels later. <laughs> but uh, oh, and another thing that aggravates me is when you have the content on your disc, like when. Like, I don't know, let's say Call of Duty or something. Like, you, you, the game gets shipped, and you have the extra maps on the disc, but you have to pay to unlock them. Uh, yeah. That ticks me off so much, because it's like, oh, so my $60 isn't good enough to buy all of the percentage of the disc. I have to buy, like, 80% of it, and then I'll unlock the rest of it later with more money. Yeah. It's just, it just gets on my nerves a little bit. But uh, how are you liking your PS4, Zach? PS4? It's really good, man. I've gotten a lot better... This is the last time we all played Battlefield. It was really the bad. The last time we all played, where we each played like a life. A life, yeah, but we were, <laughs> we were really bad. But no. I was really, really, really bad. Well, hey, man, I went swimming in the ocean, and I'm pretty sure I killed at least one guy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Dude, I, now, I didn't know this, but while, while you're swimming, you can take out your pistol while you're swimming. Uh, okay. Shoot people. That would have been better than just... You were like, hey, dude, I just so you know, you can't shoot when you're in water. And then I see, like, a ski do coming, and I'm like, oh, my God. And then he runs you, <laughs> and the guy ran you over. Yeah, over that. I was just screaming. Yeah, but no, I was playing Battlefield the other day, and I was in the helicopter, and I decided to jump out with my parachute. And this other helicopter, the enemy's helicopter, was below me. So I went with my RPG and shoot it, and I've never done that in my entire life playing a video game. Something. Oh, you were telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, it was the coolest thing I've ever done playing yeah. a video game. It seems like a little bit of luck went into that. Oh, it was super lucky. You yeah. jumped out of a helicopter and you were shooting while you were falling? Yeah. He was shooting an RPG RPG. No, this helicopter was right below me, so I shot an RPG and killed, like, six people. Yeah. And it was probably the best what? day I've ever played. <laughs> Battlefield my life and it's never happened at that time you almost <laughs> just want to turn it off break the disc and be like you I'm know done what? dude I wish I stayed that was awesome, I should have posted it it was yeah. just it was ridiculous that, that like those videos cool. you see people throwing jumping on your like helicopter shit throwing C4 on like tanks and blowing them up and stuff like, yeah it was I was just like oh this could have been my, my day in glory could have been your moment your so moment in you history. shot an RPG downwards. Yeah, underneath this helicopter goes, this helicopter goes right, flying right into it. Did you? Were you just like randomly shooting an RPG, and then all of a sudden a plane just happened to come by? <laughs> no, I saw the helicopter coming. I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to do this. Oh and I my shot God. it and I blew it up, and I was like, I dropped the controller, and I was like, Carlos, whiskey, I gotta get off here. I'm done. <laughs> you, you know you uh, you, you did you something you so good, like, you wanted to stop playing. I had to yeah. stop playing. It's like. Like in poker, you know, you're winning all this money. You're like, hey, you know what? I'm probably gonna just gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's that's when that's when I think I would want the Call of Duty aspect of right after you kill someone, you get to hear their mic because you would have just heard yeah. six oh, kids dude, they like, been so "Oh good. my god, <laughs> what the fuck was that?" <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, seriously, you don't know what happens. Like when you die, all it does is it goes it goes back to the where the guy is, and you see like this orange outline of him running around and shit, and that's about it. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. You don't know how you, it says you death by RPG, but you don't know. And what then you he just was see doing. this random dude just floating cool. down in yeah. my <laughs> yeah. from a helicopter. That's insane. That's pretty cool. Um, do you guys think that we will ever like as 
when when we get older and you know whatever there's other kids that are playing like younger people that are playing uh video games do you think that they're gonna miss out on the whole like i don't know like hey everybody come over to my house and we'll play split screen on whatever because like halo because, well, be, yeah, oh, or dude. something like that. Like because first of, Xbox, that's all I, I yeah. ever do with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come over and play Halo. Yeah, play. it's come over. Now yeah. it's like, hey, get online and let's play. Yeah, but so, it takes away from the fun. Though. I think you it miss does. a lot of the experience. And I don't think we're just saying that because we're like Older. old and grapey and we're just like, oh, well, it's so easy now. Back in my day, I really Stop do Stop looking at my screen! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, people still do do LAN stuff, though. Yeah, they do, but it's it's not as prevalent. And I don't think that, if you know, if you want to play with your friends, there are other ways to do it other than split screen. And I think that... Yeah, that's awesome, though, because it's a big hassle dude, to take oh, shit. When we, it was, we used to go to Matt's house, and all of us were playing Call of Duty. Yeah. All yeah. five of us down in the basement. Oh, yeah. It was probably the best time yeah. ever. And that was online. But we all... We had five... Janky TVs, four by three, big blocky TVs, <laughs> just all basement. lined up, and we were all playing Call of Duty. It was it was awesome. I think I think playing with people online is you'll never get the same experience as if, if you're playing with well, them. Like, that's probably why people yeah. go go to like try to get on teams and stuff like that, try to play a team, on yeah. a, a gaming team, you know. So like you could all be there in the same area, yeah, and still have that camaraderie and have yeah. fun that way. It's still good though. Like a big positive about about online gaming now is that you can still play with people like across the world. Like you don't have to be neighbors right. to play with them and, and you know be friends or whatever. Build build that bond of of like you said camaraderie or whatever. Yeah, but, but you do kind of build that bond with people when you play with them online. Yeah, you, like you make a friend online, you just like keep like whiskey, together. you know exactly. Like yeah, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like you can still do that, but uh, it's you know, still with, a little weird with people. Though. What do you mean? It's, it's just weird being like, hey, bro, go, it's good. It's, can I be, like, play yeah. games together? Maybe? I don't know. It's always weird when you, like, when I, like, sometimes I'll just randomly, you know, I'll get on Call of Duty or, or whatever game, and, and one one day I'll just, like, find a cool dude, and I'll just be like, sweet, like, I just made a new friend. And and you get this idea of how they look just by what their voice is. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, every time you talk to them, you picture them as that. I, and then when you see their the picture, picture like you don't look at it's almost like, like you don't want to look at their picture. You just want to keep that like, oh, yeah, like that's like, exactly how your voice dude, should like, look as a person. Remember, remember Hugs, though? I thought she was going to be like this oh, God. weird-looking chick. But it was the craziest thing. She was not. She was like well, the hottest chick I've ever seen playing a video game. And she is Zach's girlfriend. Forever. She is not. Who was? Cortana? Cortana. Cortana. From uh, uh, Mortal Kombat. From Halo. Cortana from Mortal Kombat. Oh, dude, right? she was, she's pretty, she's like my first That's Mortal Kombat. Wasn't, 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 wasn't there a, a Halo character in the Xbox version of Mortal Kombat? The new Not Mortal Kombat. It was Darth Vader. Not Mortal Kombat, though. Yeah. No, bro. Mortal Kombat. No. Because for the Xbox version, there was a special character that you got, and for the PS3 version, there was. I know that wasn't Mortal Kombat. That was a different game. Uh, Soul Calibur. Dead or Alive. There was Soul no. Calibur. Is was it, it Soul Calibur? It's Soul Calibur. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Positive. All right. I'll take I'll take your word for it. Take my gaming one. expert knowledge. Okay. To the next level. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess I, I guess I know nothing anymore. Um. So is well, that it? Does anybody have I, any? Yeah, I think we're getting close to a hour. Does that, anybody have any closing statements or thoughts or or uh, ideas? Anything to float around? Uh, just make sure you uh, check us out on Twitter. Check you out on Twitter. Yeah, just go ahead and Jimmy reach Andy, out. two M's, two Y's. Reach out <laughs> and touch me. That's right, right? Just do it. Um, At J-I-M-M-Y-A-N-D-Y-Y. Yeah. How do you know that by heart? Because I just edited the first podcast. Oh, okay. And you guys were like, "Oh, we gotta do shoutouts. We gotta do shoutouts. You gotta do shoutouts because they want to. They want to talk." Was that a cock in your mouth? Because I, I, I doubt. It sounds like you had a big dick in your mouth. I they doubt it. You guys are really dumb. Get this dick out of my mouth! I gotta do shoutouts. It's weird that you're doing an impression of me doing an impression of you. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say, Jeez. dad, dad, and his comebacks Maybe. always burns us. There's a little bit of an inception burn there. Well, what was that inception noise? Dun. Ah. All right. I think we should start and end all of our podcasts like that. <laughs> all right. And that's it. And that's it. Wrap. Never clap your hands during a podcast.